Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday and me and Ryan are heading into Central because I have a few things to do and a few shops I want to go to. It is super, super hot today and I just cannot believe that it's like 30 degrees on the second week of September. Where was the sun when it was actually summer. <laughs> this vlog is going to be a like what I wore in a week plus a few things that I get up to that I wanted to take you guys along with me. We're going to head into Central and go to Abercrombie because I have a return to do. But I also wanted to check out their denim because I have seen some of their denim online which looks so fab and I'm in the market for a new pair of jeans. I also wanted to pop into Celine because there is a bag that I have loved for the longest time and I want to try it on again and maybe get it. So I'll show you guys that and take you with me. And yeah, we're going to get some food in Central. Ryan said he's feeling a street food vibe, which is good because there's two different street food places we could go to that have a number of different vendors with different food. And we're just gonna have a nice day out, which feels quite rare because I feel like most weekends we've been doing things with family or I've been working. So it feels nice to have a day, just us two going out, go and explore, go and get some things done and hopefully have a really nice day. Let me show you guys my outfit. I know I said it's super hot and I'm wearing this cropped trench coat, but I also thought while we're in Central, may as well shoot a look because trying to be as efficient as possible, this way I can get an outfit picture that I can then post to Instagram during the week. So just trying to make the most of time. I've got a tank top on, this is from Zara. I really like this racer back fit. I find it's quite flattering, especially when you've got your arms out because then you can see like your arms, your like collarbone and this area, which I think is just a really nice fit. I've got my trusty denim maxi skirt on. This is my favorite maxi skirt. It's from Stradivarius and it's just so, 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 so comfortable. Then I've got the Adidas Sambas on. So I finally managed to bag these. They are like sold out everywhere. I will try to find a few places where they're in stock and pop them in the description box. So if you're after them, you can get hold of them. I managed to get them from JD and at the time they had all sizes in stock, which was ideal. Then I'm wearing a Celine black belt to bring the outfit together and cinch me in at the waist. And then I've got this really cool crop trench from Cos. One thing I love about Cos is that they have more unique pieces. So I know, you guys know that I love a timeless style, things that you can wear again and again each year. But I do think it's nice to add some pieces that are slightly different to your wardrobe, a little bit unique in their cut or their fit, just to add some interest. So this is the final outfit. And then I've got um, my black cofoon bag. This is my black cofoon bag. It's the stance bag. And I love it because it has a really nice structure to it. And then also the gold hardware detail, which I think adds a really nice touch to the bag and it works with my outfit because of the black belt and then also the Adidas Sambas that have got the black stripes and then I'm going to wear my black YSL sunglasses which I absolutely need because it's so so sunny. I've got my sunglasses on and I'm ready to go. I've also just realized that I don't have any earrings in in my first earring so I'm gonna sort that out right now because feel a bit naked without a chunky hoop in. Ah, that is better. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but when I don't have my jewelry on and I'm heading out for the day, I feel almost like I'm naked. I feel like, it's like with leaving the house without putting your perfume on and then and realizing that you don't have any perfume on and thinking, oh no, like why did I forget my perfume? I have that same feeling with like earrings and jewelry accessories. Um, 
especially if I'm going out for the day or going somewhere nice. These are my new earrings from Astrid and Mew. They're like a gorgeous gold hoop. Love them for every day. Could wear them in the evening too. But for me, this is like going to be a staple for every day. And this is the final look. to Central for a day of shooting and meeting and an appointment and this is my outfit. I've got the striped cardigan on that I showed you guys in my last video from H&M. Absolutely love this. White trousers from Lily Silk. Then I have paired my Lueve tan belt with my tan Demelia bag to bring the tan into the outfit. And then I'm wearing these thong black sandals from River Island. And that is my look. Sorry, it was super, super quick because I have called a taxi and it's literally outside. So I had about 30 seconds to give you guys a rundown of the outfit of the day. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Had such a lovely day in London yesterday. We took some outfit pictures, Purdy and I, and then I had a meeting with my management team to go through a goals review and strategy for the next season, which is essentially the busiest season for um, content creators and people who work within social media. That was really, really good. Essentially, what we did is had a look at my goals at the beginning of the year, and we then assessed, where am I against those goals? Are they on track? Have any of them been completed? Do we need to amend the goal? or are there any actions that I need to take to make sure I can hit those goals at the end of the year? And I'm so glad that we did that. One thing that I have taken from the corporate world is the importance of setting goals, but then not just setting goals, but tracking against those goals. And I'm going off on a tangent here, but I think that is so relevant to like all goals that you set in life and something that I like to apply when I'm setting goals, whether that's at the beginning of the year or mid-year when I decide that I want to do something. Like I have an Excel which has my goals for um, career and personal finance, but then things like health and fitness goals, for example, wanting to make sure I work out four to five times a week. And then what I then do, which I don't successfully do every week, is I track how that progress is going and I have like an Excel spreadsheet which says for each week, did I achieve that goal? And I'll just go through and make some rough notes. But I think it's a great way to stay accountable because we always set goals at the beginning of the year or New Year's resolutions, but then how often do we go back and have a check-in? And I think it's so key to have a check-in, have a look at how far you've come and appreciate that, but then also look at, okay, what is the gap to be able to get from where we currently are to complete the goal or if you've surpassed the goal i just think it's so important otherwise you just lose sight and track of your goals yeah it just keeps your mind focused i think so feeling very inspired and motivated after that meeting although very tired because i couldn't sleep last night ryan isn't here he's away for a couple of days for work in Ireland and I don't know what it is but you guys might get this if you've lived with your partner or significant other for a long time or even a flatmate or living at home with your family but me and Ryan have lived together for the last 
five and a half, six years, been together 12 years in January. And when he's not here, I cannot sleep. I think it's just because I was so used to having him next to me in bed. I even tried to go to bed yesterday at 10.30, tried to go to bed early, and probably didn't go to sleep until 1am. Like, so bad, I am so sleepy today. But anyway, that I'm done with my little update. I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys because I have picked up two luxury designer purchases. I'm not someone to spend lots of money on designer things usually, but I do like to invest in accessories because I think that's a great way to elevate your outfits. Most of my day-to-day -day wardrobe is high street. Like I'm a high street gal, but I do like to get a few designer pieces to spruce things up and add a little bit to your outfit. Let me go get the bags. One of these, the Gucci shoes, I did mention to you guys already because it was on my wish list and I wanted to get them, but I haven't actually done an unboxing and shown you them. So let's start with these. First off, they always do such glamorous boxes. Not that that totally matters, but I do think it makes the whole unboxing experience a lot nicer. I'm also going to push you guys back a bit more so you can see more. So I have actually worn these once, but not outside. I wore them for a Ashley and Mew jewelry shoot that I did as part of a get ready with me. How beautiful are these shoes? Honestly, I can't even tell you how long these have been on my wish list. I've seen a few people wear them and I just thought they're so classic and timeless. You can just wear these every year. They're not a trend piece. They're not going to go out of fashion. I absolutely love a sling back heel as well because you guys know I love adding a little bit of height to my shoes because I'm small, but at the same time, it's not practical to walk around in high heels, is it? Also comes in this lovely like dust bag with the Gucci logo on so I can keep them really nice and protected and look after them. These are them together. What I didn't realize is that they have a pointed toe, but then it's also a square toe, which is quite cool and it's a very unique design. I went for this color because it's very wearable, very neutral. I have so many outfits that I can pair this with. I've not really done an unboxing like this before, so I'm just sort of holding the shoe up to the camera. <laughs> but yeah, how fabulous are these? They're super structured. I love them and I can't wait to actually wear them but what I am going to do is I'm going to wear them for date nights and evening as opposed to every day. I'm all about wearing my pieces but at the same time I'm not going to wear them every day and get them ruined. Next up we have something from Celine. Guys I'm so excited to share this with you because I have been wanting this bag for a while, I think two years now. But as I was mentioning earlier, I'm not someone that parts easily with money to buy something designer unless I really, really like it. So I had to sit on it and I sat on it for about a year and a half before I actually took the plunge. And I also wanted to treat myself because I just hit 250,000 followers on Instagram, which absolutely blows my mind. And if you follow me on Instagram, thank you so much. If you don't, it's at Olivia Miller, like two O's. It's also in the description box. And so I wanted to treat myself because ladies, I think we should celebrate all of our successes, no matter how big, no matter how small. And on the topic of goal setting, I think that helps you achieve your goals because I know I'm going to treat myself something when I hit my goals. Also, just to celebrate achieving things that you have set out to do. So, this was a treat to myself. It's in such a big box, which I'm kind of confused about because it's not that big. Okay, it makes sense. They just gave me a big box, but actually, this is the bag. And I bought this with Ryan. You guys will have seen that I went into the shop on Sunday and I have not unpacked it or unbox it since because I wanted to do it with you guys. So it's come in all of this sort of wrapping just to make sure it stays all nice. So I'll get rid of that. Guys, this is the bag. 
Isn't she so cute? So this is the Celine Triumph calf skin or lamb skin, I think it's calf skin bag with the gold chain and the chain stays like this so it's absolutely an evening bag. So I was really looking for a nice evening bag to wear for going to events or date night, just something super elevated but really simple. I do have um, my YSL sunset bag but it's quite big and bulky for an evening bag so I thought this would be super cute. Love the rectangular shape, can definitely fit my phone in here. Lipsticks, my keys, things like that. It's not super massive, but this is what I was looking for. I love the gold chain as well, and the gold hardware, so you can see the Celine logo. It's still got the sticky stuff on it to protect it from being scratched. I am in love. This will be my new evening bag for date nights and fun evenings out, not nights out, because we will look after her. And with this kind of leather, it could potentially scratch. But I am very careful with my things, so I'm sure we'll be fine. And they did say that there's such thing as a pamper service. So if you do ever get a scratch, they said that I can take it back there and they will try to work their magic and give the bag a little bit of a pamper. Never heard of that before, pamper service. And this is the inside of the bag. So as you can see, it's not huge. It does have a compartment where I can put some things like a card and um, just to keep things safe. And I love her. I think this is going to be the perfect evening bag. And I'm so happy with it. So it's this sort of length and the strap doesn't extend. So that's the only thing about it. It can't be worn cross body then I mean I feel like that is going to make me want to wear it more just in the evening. Let me know what you guys think about my two purchases. I can honestly say that yeah I'm so happy guys with this bag and also with the Prada shoes. Let me know what you guys think. This is super timeless and classic. I'm going to love her forever. I'm now going to take my makeup off I had it on to do some filming this morning and I'm going to redo it and hopefully I'm going to film it because I'm going to an Armani Beauty party tonight and uh, which I'm really excited about. The weather's looking really grey and thunderstormy outside so hoping it doesn't tip down because that would be such a shame. Um, the party's inside but you know it's not ideal when it's raining and you're trying to get from A to B, especially when you're going on the train or the tube and you're not driving. It's to celebrate the Sea Intense Perfume. It's at the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden where they usually have, I guess, the opera. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. I'll show you guys the outfit I decided to go for because I haven't actually decided. I know it's black and I've got three different options. So I will show you what I go for in the end. Stay tuned. This is my outfit that I decided to go for. It's a two piece from Mistress Rocks. So it's a lace top and then a lace skirt. And it has this nude underlayer. So although it gives the illusion that it's sheer, it's not completely sheer. And I I really like it. And then I have paired it with my new bag. So this will be the first time wearing her out. I'm also wearing this gorgeous Monica Vinader bracelet bangle. I love wearing black and gold together, as you guys already know. I'm also wearing a necklace from Olivia Burton from when I worked with them for the collective. And my earrings are from Polen Paris and so is this beautiful bold bangle and then I've gone for these heels these are heels I'm really loving lately I think it's because of the gold chain and I just love wearing gold accessories so this is the final look and then I'm just going to grab a light coat to wear on top because I am taking the train in and I don't really want people to see like underneath on the train um just because you know it's a train 
and I don't want to be exposed. But then once I'm there, I can take my coat off and enjoy the party. I'll try and film some bits on my phone. Not gonna bring my camera because it's not gonna fit in my small little bag. Also wanted to show you guys my makeup. I went for a brown, smoky, exaggerated eyeliner look to go with the black outfit. Sort of like the espresso trend that's going around. And it was really nice to do something a little bit different and a little bit more drama for tonight's event. Good morning! It is Thursday and I'm heading into Central for the day. It's 8am, is it 8am? It's 8.30 and this morning I'm going to a breakfast with LTK which is um, reward style. So it's a breakfast with LTK and eBay. We're going to Petersham Nurseries in Common Garden. So this is the look that I'm wearing. I've got a black oversized blazer on with a white heavyweight t-shirt on from Arquette. The heavyweight t-shirts from Arquette and Cos are my absolute favourite. You cannot get better quality t-shirts. Jeans. I'm wearing these split leg jeans from H&M. Sorry, the sun is coming in in the most awkward way because I'm filming this quite early before I get my train. Love the blue jeans with the white t-shirt, making the outfit a little bit more casual and brunch appropriate, but at the same time we've got the blazer to make it formal. And then I've got my new belt on, which I got from Amazon. It's supposed to be a Hermes dupe lookalike, I believe. And then I'm going to wear my new Gucci shoes, my slingbacks that I showed you guys yesterday. But for the journey, I'm going to wear my loafers and put my shoes in the bag. So yeah, this is the look. Sleek back, sleek hair, same as yesterday, no fuss. Um, got back quite late yesterday at 11, so it's a quick turnaround this morning to pack everything and get out the door again for another, another day. Saturday and you may notice something different about me. I didn't vlog yesterday because I went to go and get my Invisalign fitted in London. So yeah, I have now joined the Invisalign gang. They are so weird. I honestly just want to take them out all the time but I know my dentist said I have to keep them in for 22 hours a day so I guess keep them in as much as possible. They just feel so strange and I know that I'm probably talking really weird too. But you will see them more on the vlogs because I guess I have to keep them in as much as possible. If I take them out every time I need to film or vlog, then I won't be wearing them that much. So <laughs> that's... <laughs> but all in the name of having a perfect smile in time for the wedding next June. It should take about four months. I think I've got 18 aligners. Um, all going well and if I speed through them and I keep wearing them all the time. I am going to a concert tonight with my friend Olivia. We're going to watch Shania Twain. You know, man, I feel like a woman. Doo -doo. I'm so excited. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys a couple of pieces that I picked up from Naked Fashion. I have a discount code with them again, so you can get 30% off. I have a discount code again with them this month as I'm working with them on Instagram. And I will have already posted a Naked Fashion Reel by that time, so I'll link that in the description box as well. By the time this vlog goes up, that reel will also be up. And the discount code gets you 30% off if you are an existing or returning customer which is really good because usually it's only 20% for returning customers and 30% for new customers. But this time it's 30% for both. 
so that is amazing if you're in the market for getting a couple of new pieces for the new season to spruce up your wardrobe first up is this leather faux leather pencil skirt and it's a midi length and it's got this slit down the side i think this is a gorgeous piece for date night going out for dinner or even a party maybe with like a fun top and then a cropped black blazer i do actually have a black crop blazer over there that i'm wearing tonight so i'll pop that on and show you what that would look like but this is so nice i really love the ruching detail it just makes it a little bit more party and then the slit as well and i love that it's super high-waisted because i feel like that sort of fit is more flattering especially on me because i am shorter but i really love this piece i think this will be so nice for autumn and like evening occasions i think it looks really chic as well but at the same time gonna say it it looks sexy too and i feel like i'm in that era of dressing guys i want to feel confident i want to feel like i'm dressing fun i know that lots of my clothes are quite like classic and timeless but at the same time i do sometimes want to dress edgy and still dress like i'm in my late 20s so this is a fun chic item but at the same time it's still giving a bit of fun what do you think i'm not going to show you guys everything that i picked up from naked fashion just the pieces that i really like and also that i feel like could be really good additions to your wardrobe well at least they are for me the next one is this gorgeous blazer naked do tailoring so well because they're a good price but at the same time the quality is really good it looks expensive i love that it has these shoulder pads here because it gives a nice structure in blazers i'm always looking for structure whether that's a boxy fit or a cinched in waist just to give that shape and to elevate the outfit i really like this color it actually goes really well with the skirt this would be a great date night outfit um, with some glam makeup some jewelry a nice bag clutch bag but also this blazer is just great day to day with a t-shirt and jeans or like a denim midi skirt and a belt and tank top that would look really cute and the tones i love this sort of brown camel tone i think it's super neutral and minimal so it goes with lots of the pieces in my wardrobe and i can easily mix and match seamlessly i don't know about you guys but i love that cardigans are so fashionable this season this is such a comfy cozy knit i believe they also had it in gray but i've already got a gray cardigan but i was just looking for a couple of pieces that i can wear around the house but then style up for casual outfits like a t-shirt and jeans or like a tank top situation and this is just such a nice color as well it's a i would say like a caramel beige warm sort of tone which i think looks really good with my sort of skin tone but as i say they did have different colorways as well sorry if my um invisalign is making me sound different i know guys i sound different don't i but i will get used to it i feel like i just need to enunciate more bear with me and if you don't have a cardigan in your wardrobe i definitely get one because they're a really comfy piece they're great for layering and they keep you warm when it starts to get cold in the autumn winter and you can wear it out every day but at the same time you can wear it cozy and casual in the house or if you're having people over for dinner anything like that working from home they are just really comfy and i'm so glad that they are really in season i also picked up this bodysuit in this gorgeous brown mocha color and also in like an off-white color and i really like the fit of it it's such a good base layer to wear underneath like a blazer or a jacket um for every day or even work wear as well and i got this in 
a size extra small but I think it fits really well because it's not too tight it's quite similar to the Zara bodysuits but I find that the Zara bodysuit the small is sort of too is quite tight and then the medium would be too big for me so this is a really great size and I really like this neckline I just think it's a really good basic to have in your wardrobe I could wear it like this with jeans and then like a blazer or a biker jacket on top and it's just handy to have these one is for my corporate office workwear girlies look at this really cute pleated skirt I love the fit of this I'll definitely be wearing this say if I have like an event in the daytime maybe sell something like this but then with a tweed jacket or maybe even a blazer I just think it's really elegant I love the pleat detail as well I think that makes it look really expensive and just gives such a nice shape it's an off-white beige color so it'll be so easy to style with different things because it's neutral neutral color palette and I really like this I'll leave all the sizes for everything down below and also go and check out the reel that I did with all the naked pieces because there's lots more naked items in there all the outfits in that reel in the description box are from naked and you can get 30% off with my discount code the discount code is only valid for one week so if you do want to use it be sure to use it within the week um, as it will expire I really like this this would just be so perfect for the office paired with a blazer or even like a tweed jacket or like a collarless jacket or even a blouse this would just be such a nice skirt something a little bit different to like a satin smooth skirt or wearing trousers and I think it looks really elegant and chic I will be back and show you mine and Liv's outfits for Shania Twain do 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 let's go girls we are changed and ready to leave going to hop into the car in a second this is the outfit that I decided to go for I've got a cropped blazer on from River Island the one I was showing you guys earlier and then jeans these are also from River Island these are my favorite straight leg jeans I've also got these in black and cream because when you find a pair of jeans that fits you really well you need to get them in a couple of different shades and then I'm wearing this black corset top which is from Urban Outfitters I wear this so much for evening just in different ways it's such a handy cute top to have in your wardrobe and then I've got some black heels on from Mesh Key which means we're not going to be standing which is why I'm wearing heels um, so yeah, really excited to see what that suite is going to look like. And then I'm wearing my black YSL bag because it fits a lot inside. Got my retainer case in there, my lipsticks, car keys, things like that. And this is the final look. And then I've just accessorized with gold jewelry. And we have Liv Levitt too. Ready to go. I love your outfit. It's actually all River Island. Stunning. We are River Island yeah. gals tonight. Yeah, look at us go. They have so many good um, pieces in for new in, don't they? Is your waistcoat and... River Island too? Yeah. Love it's not it. Nice, it's like slightly tailored, so it's actually um, nice and fitted. Love it. Yeah. Love those shoes as well. The boots, just for a window. And this is our vibe to go and see Shania, Shania. Twain. Do, 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 do. Let's go, girls. Down, 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 down. <laughs>